crazy morning, I proceeded to dump liquid egg whites all over the floor. Can we talk about the worst thing you could do on a Monday morning? I mean, like, there is nothing worse than having to pick up raw liquid egg whites off the floor, but my, my kitchen floor is now spotless. Well, at least in the area where I spilled. Everywhere else is dingy. Well, guys, I made it to a uh, clinic, and it is a rainy, rainy day to then go treat some skin cancer. So I just got back from the lunch, and I'm incubating in the parking lot here. Good news, we are live on Twitter, so we are good to tweet at Dr. Dre's Day. Uh, so follow me there if you're so inclined. But um, I just wanted to share with you guys, I am pleased as punched. I swung into the gas station and just took a risk and I dare say this is one of the best coffees I've had in a long time. Yeah, Boyd's Coffee. This was a uh, mean dollar and 19 cents and it is black and rich and flavorful. It is not burned. Excellent craftsmanship. I don't know who Boyd is but established in 1900. Uh, I ordered from the Amazonian a uh, car mount so we should have some improved stability for car vlogging for your eyes. I know, I know. No, I'm just like a Christmas elf, granting wishes left and right. Alright. Well, hey guys, work day is done and getting gas here. But I have no idea if the one I got is going to be any good or not. So I just kind of went wanged it on uh, the Amazonian. So, uh, looky there, a mere $12.62 for gas. For anyone who cares, we're at $1.89 and uh, 9 tenths of a cent uh, gas right now. Snuck in a quick uh, runzo and I'm headed out the door for... Uh, Houston Durham Society meeting tonight. So hopefully, I'll, I don't know how much I'll be able to film in there. I didn't even shower. I just uh, put my same clothes back on. I know, I know. Shame on me. Sometimes we make poor choices. It's a trade-off, though. You know, you got to get your workout in, and so you make do. Look how cute my little uh, DIY tree is. Ah, it's so festive. Go and check out my video, guys, if you haven't seen it from Hillary's channel. All right, guys. Fairly sweet. guys, so the dinner is over. I can't stand valet parking. I generally just want to park my car and get my car and go home. I hate having to wait for the valet. It's my favorite thing in LA. Apparently this place my car. I don't like the relinquishing control of my, um, of my car. So I am back and all showered and what have you. The talk was good. A lot about melasma and uh, dark spots on the face that can happen after acne, particularly in uh, women who have darker skin types. But uh, do any of y'all use those over-the-counter fade creams like Ambi Cream? Word on those. Yeah, I uh, mentioned Ambi Cream. That's a more common one. And if you'll uh, hark back to yesterday's field trip to Family Dollar, you'll recall seeing the Skin Fade Cream here, Dermisa. These are both over-the-counter hydroquinone creams. And hydroquinone, there is no evidence that hydroquinone on the skin causes any kind of cancer. It can, however, cause some irritation on your skin uh, and that can subsequently make your dark spots worse so it's okay I, I've used it before to, to kind of self-treat some some melasma -y stuff uh, but it can be very irritating and whenever there's irritation in the skin guys it unfortunately can leave a dark mark behind which you don't want one of the take-home points also sunscreen is for uh, cutting down on your risk of getting a dark mark so you'll recall Sal yesterday looking there. Sal is um, leaving the building. It's a little BP and he's going away. But I aggressively cover that bad boy with sunscreen because the last thing I want is not to get dark um, and stay there as a dark mark on my face. But yeah, here, I don't know, can you see my melasma here? I'm okay with it. I, it doesn't bother me much, but... Um, I tried using the Ambi Cream once upon a dream and gave up on that. It smells foul and it is irritating, so I just gave up on that. But the soy extract in Aveeno Positively Radiant, I noticed when I used that that my skin did actually get brighter. But the thing you have to know is that if you stop using the soy creams, the dark stuff is just going to come right back. It's kind of a, a temporary 
saying that you will only see if you use it consistently. Anyways, that's a little two cents about uh, discoloration and fade creams. Um, but that's going to conclude the vlog today. Give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Share it with your friends. Comment below. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!